class portrait. And the Well, over the next four nights, News Source 13 will be reliving those high school experiences through the eyes of the class of 1990. We begin our class portraits with a taste of a day in the life of a high school senior in a small town. A great town with the only one I know that has a waterfall running right through the middle. It's small. It's definitely a small town. Most of the people know everybody. Uh, everybody basically hangs out right in Hyatt Falls. That's where everybody goes to do anything. That's where all like little stores are. Like, it's, it's gotten better every year, but like senior year, it's just like you feel a lot more in control and, and you feel a lot more confident with yourself. Under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Indicate the colleges that you are accepted by, rejected by, or waitlisted. So we can begin to start a file on students and colleges. It's kind of exciting. But what? Just having to meet new people and stuff as you go to college. And you probably won't see all these people again. Yesterday I gave you the uh, problem. Remember that dihybrid cross? I'd like you to oh, let I, me know I'll definitely you invent something or discover something. Last time. Then I'll spend the rest of my so, time going to school and doing research and stuff. Two to the nth power will tell you the number of gametes that you have. Okay? So you have a. It's marriage and parenting. Yeah. And right now they're doing a project and it's on sugar babies. And for two weeks they have to carry around a bag of sugar that is supposed to be more real to the weight of a baby. We're talking about um, field trip. Don't leave them in the locker. Constantly check on them. Mm. That's what I'd do if I had a real baby. I'd... Class portrait. Honey, I Falls Lima's class of 1990 candidly talks to us about their teachers, their romance, and the pals they've grown up with. Growing up with everybody all, all the time, so it's almost like in a schedule, and you just like you know everybody, and it's it's kind of like a safe zone. Civilized. Don't be normal. Come on, man. Right, guys, I've known everybody since second grade. I'm, we're in the same classes now as we were then, so it's weird. It's neat because you're friends with the same people for for 18 years. I've been friends with these people. Just after growing up with them for so long, it's just real sad. Stay to the table. I think you really want to find out what the people are like. You know, the jerks and the, you know, the kids that you really like and, you know, you get in with them, your best friends. We have our groups, but it's not a clique. We have our friends, but yet we know everybody. Much better snares. But let's get the other side of the street in here as well. Hope that you understand the procedure. That Everyone right now, go show and pick a country in the world. Sit down, here we go. You actually get 20-20 vision. 
and look at things and illuminate things. And if you can't illuminate things, put the light on it. They're very helpful. They go out of their way to help you, and they're just great teachers. Some teachers, you get them in class, and they get really intimidated by some of them, by the way they teach, but then you see them out of class, and they're really great. They helped me through my high school career, and I really like them very much, and I really respect them. They've built my confidence in me, and they've taught me that I can do it for myself, and if I just, you know, believe in myself, I can do whatever I want. You're going to research that country tonight. Oh, it's the lovebirds. The <laughs> romance? In this school? If you have a boyfriend or girlfriend, you, you really get ragged on. By I see people and they're kind of like stuck to each other. <laughs> then there's the types that really enjoy the, each other's company. Go, I guess it still is called going out, but sometimes people don't state it that they're going out. You know, like. Oh, do you, it's just like, oh yeah, we're together, but you don't know what's going on, I don't know. It's like nobody really states anything anymore, you know? There's a lot of dating, minimal serious relationships. It's kind of heartbreaking. You get two girlfriends and they're bound to find out about, find out about each other, so. There's your, your couples that have been here, new ones, and then your ones that you've seen forever.